society exits in groups. For example, man women, Hindu Muslim, heterosexuals homosexuals. These divisions causes conflict and prejudice. I don't want Muslims in this neighborhood. But what if people from different groups gets into a contact? Let's take an example of Mary and Steve. Mary and Staver goes to the same school. Steve is a football fan and Mary is a cricket fan. Steven and his football friends don't really like cricket fans. I don't understand man, why do people even like cricket? In one of the class, Steve and Mary are put into same group. They spend time together doing the project. Steve started to like Mary. He tell his friends how Mary is a cricket fan but she seems a good person. Some of his friends had a change of thought about cricket fans. Maybe cricket fans are not that egoistic as I thought. No. I also have a classmate who is a cricket fan but she is nice. That's how their distinctions based on sports following changed and prejudice in the school reduced. This is contact theory. Under appropriate conditions contact could be an effective ways to reduce prejudice. It was introduced by American psychologist Gordon Allport. Contact theory has been studied in the context of racial prejudice, homophobia, and various other marginalized groups. Next time before judging someone. Contact first.